From a 24-hour overnight challenge at the White House to fighting Dana White for $2 million, pros react to Paul versus Diaz fight. American celebrity Jake Problem Child Paul has a very odd resume. YouTuber, actor, social media influencer, rapper, and boxer aren't typical things you see lumped together on a resume, but Paul isn't a typical guy. Not by a long shot. In 2017, when US President Barack Obama invited Jake and other popular content creators to the White House, Jake decided to take his visit to the next level by filming it and uploading it to YouTube as part of the popular 24-hour overnight challenge trend where social influencers were uploading videos of them staying overnight at venues like Target and Walmart. Jake thought a White House 24-hour overnight challenge video would be the ultimate. So after his scheduled visit, he stayed, hiding in a bathroom until 4 or 5 in the morning, then walked out the front door and uploaded the video. Six hours and 13 million YouTube views later, the Secret Service was knocking on his front door, trying to intimidate him into taking the video down. But he didn't, and it's still posted on his channel. With more than 66,000 comments, Jake knows how to get publicity. And that's certainly one way. Another way is to get in a boxing ring with an ex-NBA all-star and legends of the mixed martial arts world. It all seems pretty bizarre, but with six wins in seven total fights, four wins by knockout, maybe it's not that crazy. He's clearly got some game. He started his sideshow fighting carnival in 2020, fighting fellow YouTuber Anison Gibb in a fight that didn't make it past the first round. Both men came out flailing at each other until Paul landed some clean jabs and a right hand that dropped Anison Gibb. He got up and was dropped again, this time by a left hook. He did manage to bloody Paul's nose with a clean right hand, but Paul returned the favor. And Big Gibber was down yet again and put out of his misery by the referee, who had no choice but to stop the fight. That successful debut led to a second fight with former NBA star Nate Robinson in November 2020. And Jake didn't disappoint, winning by KO just over a minute into the second round, keeping the hype train rolling right into the world of pay-per-view. Yes, people were expected to buy a pay-per-view to watch young YouTuber Jake Paul fight, and they did. The fight card was the first event put on by Triller Fight Club, a new series of boxing events promoted by the video sharing app Triller and rapper Snoop Dogg. Triller partnered with Legends Only League in 2020 to broadcast the Mike Tyson vs. Roy Jones Jr. fight. So they had some credibility and gained a lot more after getting 500,000 people to buy access to Jake's third fight, and first against an experienced fighter, mixed martial artist and former UFC fighter Ben Askren. Dana White offered to bet one million that Askren would win the fight. Jake told him to double it, and Snoop Dogg agreed offering to wager $2 million on Paul to win the fight, which he did, knocking out Askren in the very first round. Jake was so caught up in the pre-fight hype that he even challenged Dana White to get in the ring, saying, after I knock out Ben, we can set up Jake Paul versus Dana White 2021 since you consider yourself a boxer and me a YouTuber. I assume he was kidding, but maybe not. And either way, Dana can't be strapping on the gloves at this point in his career, so Jake's offer couldn't be taken seriously, even if he meant it to be. But he didn't need a fight with Dana White, not when he had big names like Tyron Woodley, Anderson Silva, and Tommy Fury willing to stand in to test his skills. Paul fought Woodley twice, winning both. First by a split decision in August 2021, then by sixth round knockout in December. Worlds were colliding. 
a social media influencer was disrupting the fight game. At least a little. And while everyone was still trying to figure out what the hell to make of it all, Paul booked another pay-per-view fight against yet another former UFC champion, Anderson Silva, in October 2022, winning by unanimous decision, securing more than 200,000 more pay-per-view buys and bringing his boxing record to six wins without a defeat. He was earning respect and decided to step up his class of opponents. So he challenged the brother of world heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, Tommy Fury, and the two fought in February 2023 in Saudi Arabia, with Fury winning by a split decision. Fury landed a higher percentage of his punches, but Paul actually hurt Fury and scored a knockdown. In the end, two judges had it scored 76-73 for Fury and the other had it 75-74 for Paul. That's a four-round difference in an eight-round fight, and not a good look at all. Do judges gamble on fights they're involved with? I can't say for sure, but it's scoring like that that raises the question. So, what's Jake's plan after his first loss? Well, he's decided to keep climbing the ladder and take what appears to be his toughest fight yet against legendary UFC tough guy and former champion, Nate Diaz. Yes, the Nate Diaz who defeated Conor McGregor at UFC 196, and the guy who was a sparring partner for boxer Zab Judah, a former undisputed welterweight champion and two-division world champion, Andre Ward. Has Jake bitten off more than he can chew on August 5th, 2023? The jury is still out, but the votes are rolling in and the excitement is confirmed. Nate says beating up Jake is the most important thing on his schedule because along with Canelo, he's the biggest thing in boxing right now. That's a massive stretch, but if Nate believes it, it'll make for a better fight. The hardcore legend says, besides Canelo, Jake's the biggest thing in boxing. I'm here to conquer that. I'm the king of combat sports, and then I'm headed back to get my UFC belts. Paul isn't intimidated and has called out Diaz in return. People tell me Nate has been training with Andre Ward for years, that he has insane stamina, that he refuses to back down. Good for f Nate. On August 5, a problem child is going to piece up and knock out the Stockton G. That's standard trash talk. But who's to be more believed? Conor McGregor is excited to see Nate beat him up and said he thinks Nate slaps the head off of him, which made Paul open his Twitter app to explain to Conor that he's a better boxer and unlike him, he'll finish Nate. Then Askren says that Nate fans are going to cry when Jake beats him. That's understandable after Jake beat him up and MMA fighter Paul Redmond disagrees with Askren, suggesting that his experience in the ring with world champion boxers and his amazing cardio will be too much for the inexperienced Paul, saying, Nate spars real boxers the last 15 years, has a granite chin and cardio for days. Why am I seeing a lot of people post a handy win for Jake Paul? Am I missing something? Nate makes a good point. But the fact that Nate has been in the game for so long could also be his downfall and current UFC contender Sean Strickland wants nothing to do with it and thinks no one should be supporting it. Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz is such a f joke. I'm hating on the fact a retired 155 pounder is fighting a juiced TikToker at 185 pounds who lost to a recreational boxer, Tommy Fury. Stop watching this BS, it needs to die. Yeah, that's about as clear as you can be. Thanks to Sean for that. And Bellator fighter Dylan Danis agrees with Sean, suggesting that Paul is just picking on older, smaller, retired MMA fighters because he lost to the one real boxer he faced. And Tommy Fury is only a recreational boxer at best. Dana White has recently chimed in, and he's with Danis on this one, thinking that Jake has no choice but to pick on older, smaller, non-boxers, and also agrees with Strickland that he has no interest in the fight, saying, listen, Jake Paul went out and fought a real boxer who was his age, his weight, and he lost. 
So as soon as he loses, he goes back to a 40-year-old MMA fighter who's smaller than him and not as weak. If Dana doesn't like him picking on smaller guys, maybe he would like to do something about it. White versus Paul for $2 million. Well, anything is possible.